the Toyota R family was a series of straight four gasoline engines. Designed for longitudinal use in such vehicles as the Celica and Hilux and in production from 1953 through 1997, use faded out as many of Toyota's mainstream models moved to front-wheel drive. OHC versions featured a chain-driven camshaft, mitigating the danger of internal damage from interferences in belt-driven engines. History of the R family equals are equals. The 1.5 LR family was produced from 1953 through 1964, and was originally manufactured at the Toyota Honcha plant. Ball was 77 mm and stroke was 78 mm. In common with new engines of the time, it was made from cast iron, water-cooled, used a three-bearing crank, 12V electrics and a side-mounted gear-driven camshaft controlling overhead valves via pushrods and a non-cross-flow head. Induction was by a twin throat down draft carburetor, the compression ratio was 8.0 to 1 and the total weight was 155 kilograms. An LPG version, the R LPG, was produced for the last two years. The R engine was the Toyota engine used in the 1958 Toyota Crown, the first model to be exported to the United States. Road and track was unimpressed with the engine on its introduction, noting that it idled quietly but was not capable of very high revolutions per minute. Applications, 1953-1955 Toyota Super, 1955-1956 Toyota Master, 1955-1958 Toyota Crown. Equals to rankings equals, the 1.5 L2 a family was produced from 1964 through 1971. It is a square engine with bore and stroke of 78 mm. Again, an LPG version, the Tour LPG, was produced alongside the gasoline version. Production had been gradually transferred from the original Honcha plant to the new Toyota Camargo plant in 1968. Applications, 1964-January 1970 Toyota Corona RT40 RT50-RT56, Fabe 1970-January 1971 Toyota Corona RT8086V, 1968-1971 Toyota Mark II, Toyota Busser H15B, 1965-1967 Toyota Stout RK43 per ranking 47 Toyota Toyo Park 41, Toyota Hilux RN10. Equals 3 rankings equals. The 1.9 L3R family was produced from 1959 through 1968. When introduced it had a 7.7 to 1 compression ratio. In 1960 the 3R was uprated to 8.1 and the 3RB version was offered from 1960 through 1968 with the old 7.7 .7 to 1 compression ratio. The 3RC was introduced to comply with Californian emissions laws. The 3R LPG variant was made for the last five years. Applications, 1963 Euro 1968 Toyota Dyna, 1964 Euro 1967 Toyota Stout, originally 85 picoseconds, 1969 Euro. Toyota Hilux, 1967 Euro 1969 Toyota Corona, 1959 Euro 1967 Toyota Crown, 1959 a Euro. Toyota Masterline. Equals 4 rankings equals, the 1.6 L4R family was produced from 1965 through 1968. Ball was 80.5 mm and stroke was 78 mm. Applications, 1967 Toyota Corona. Equals 5 rankings equals, the 2.0 L5R family was produced from 1968 through 1986. An LPG version, the Fiverr LPG, was produced from 1968 through 1983. It was a two-valve OHV engine. Cylinder bore was 88 mm and stroke was 82 mm. Output was 106 horsepower at 5,200 rpms and 125 lbaft at 3,000 rpms. Applications, Toyota Crown, third through sixth generation only with LPG for taxi use in the last two generations. Toyota Dyna RU10, Toyota Stout RK101, Toyota Toyos RY20, OG 1981. Toyota Corona 6th generation, only LPG with automatic transmission.
equals 6 rankings equals the 1.7 L6R was produced from 1969 through 1974. Outputs is 107 horsepower at 5,300 RPMs. The 6RB was produced those same years, while the natural gas powered 6R LPG was produced from 1970 through 1973. Applications SEP 1970 July 1973 Toyota Corona RT 84 94. Jan 1972 August 1973 Toyota Mark II or X16V, 95 picoseconds. Equals 7 rankings equals, the 1.6 L7R was produced from 1968 through 1971 with a twin throat down draft carburetor. The 7RB was produced from 1968 through 1969 with dual SU carburetors and higher compression. The 7R LPG was produced from 1969 through 1970. The 7R was similar in displacement and technology to the 4R except the wider 86mm bore and shorter 68.5mm stroke of the 7R gave different power characteristics. Applications, 1968 to 1970 Toyota Corona, 1970 Toyota Corona, 1968 to 1970 Toyota Corona Mark II. 1968-1971 Toyota Corona Mark II Wagon. Equals 8 rankings equals, the 1.9 L8 of the engine was produced from 1968 through 1973. Cylinder bore was 85.9 mm and stroke was 80 mm with a 5-bearing crank. It was also available as the 8RD, Dual SU 8RB, EFI 8RE, Californian Spec 8RC and DOHC 8RG. It was a major departure for the R family. With a two-valve SOHC head, it impressed contemporary reviewers, wrote and track praised its quietness and free revving nature. The Toyota upped the ante again with the DOHC 8RG, produced from 1969 through 1972. From 1969 to February 1971 it was known as the 10R, but along with the removal of the tensioner gear in the interest of quieter operation, it was renamed the 8RG to reflect the decision that twin cam engines were henceforth to be identified by a G suffix. 4,931 twin cam engines were built, all installed in the Toyota Corona Mark II 1900 GSS. The 10R-8RG weighed in at 170 kg and as such was both lighter and more compact than its less powerful predecessor the 9R, applications. 1970 Euro 1971 Toyota Hilux, 97 horsepower, 1971 Euro 1973 Toyota Corona 1900 hardtop, Toyota Corona Mark II RT72 Corona Mark II 1900 hardtop, Toyota Corona Mark II RT72 Corona Mark II 1900 hardtop GSS. Equals 9 rankings equals. The 1.6 Al minor was produced from 1967 through 1968. Bore 80.5 x 78 mm stroke, it was essentially a 4R with a DOHC head designed by Yamaha. The cam lobes activated the valves directly via a bucket over shim arrangement. This same arrangement was used on the 2M, 8RG, 10R, 18RG, 2TG, 4AG, and 3TG TE engines. Output was 110 horsepower at 6,200 rpms and 101 lbaft at 5,000 rpms. It was a two-valve DOHC design with two Solex carburetors and weighed 174 kilograms. A total of 2,229 minor engines were built. Applications: Toyota Corona RT55, Corona 1600 GT hardtop. Equals 10 rankings equals. The twin cam 1.9 L10 was produced from 1967 through February 1971, when it was renamed the 8RG. The later 8RG version did not receive a timing chain tensioner in an effort to make it more silent. Output was 140 horsepower at 6,400 rpms and 123 lbaft at 5,200 rpms. Applications. Toyota Corona Mark II RT75 Corona Mark II GSS. Equals 12 rankings equals, the 1.6 L12 was produced from 1969 through 1988. It was also built in the Philippines as the 12RM, 
by Toyota's local affiliate Delta Motors Corporation. Technical specs, 4-cylinder, four 4-stroke, four OHV, bore and stroke, 80.5er, 78.0 mm, compression ratio, 8, 5, 1, maximum power, 90 picoseconds per 5400 rpms SAE, the 12er LPG, was produced from 1969 through 1983. Technical specs, 1975 59 kW80 horsepower Reedline 4400 rpms, applications, 1971-1978 Toyota Corona, 1971-1972 Toyota Hilux, 1977-Toyota Hiace, 1975-Toyota Hiace Commercial Camper, 1976-Daihatsu Taft, Delta Mini Cruiser Explorer. Equals 16 rankings equals, the OHC 1.8 L16A was produced from 1974 through 1980. Power output as mounted in a 1980 Mark II was 105 picoseconds at 5,600 rpms, while a twin carburetted version produced 110 picoseconds at 6,000 rpms. The 16AB was produced for the first two years. There was also a 16AJ version for various commercial vehicle applications. Applications October 1975 Euro February 1977 Toyota Carina RA10-16, Toyota Mark II Vanner X37 V, 95 picoseconds, Toyota Corona RT130-137, Toyota Hiace RH1217-41. Equals 18 rankings equals, the 18R series shared a 2.0L block. Cylinder bore was 88.5 mm and stroke was 80 mm. The two valve SOHC versions were as follows Applications 18 or 18 U 18 or E. 1972 Toyota Corona 2000, 1972 Toyota Corona 2000 MK2, 1972 Toyota Celica 2000, 197X Toyota Cressida 2000 slash Gen 1. 18 RC. 1972-1974 Toyota Hilux, 108 horsepower, 1974-1981 Toyota Celica 2000. 18RG. The 8-valve DOHC 18RG and its variations were produced from 1973 to 1982, replacing the 8RG and providing a performance engine which took advantage of the entire 2-liter limit of Japan's small car class. While most 18 AGS had a head designed and made by Yamaha, a very few had Toyota heads. Yamaha's tuning fork logo can be seen on the Yamaha heads. Except for the head and related timing components, most parts were shared or interchangeable with the SOHC 18 or combustion chambers were hemispheric. In 1975, air injection was added to the Japan market 18 AGR for improved emissions. This used Solex carburetors. A fuel-injected and catalyzed Japan market version, the 18 GEU, was produced from 1978 through 1982. There was also a catalyzed carburetted version, the 18 GU. Competition versions of the 18 G and GE include those used in rally Celicas of the period, one of which finished second in the 1977 RAC rally. These had four valve heads and were called 152E, they were of 89x 80mm bore and stroke and 1995 or 1998 cc's. The Group 4 rally version of the 152E had two twin choke carburetors, and developed 240 picoseconds at 9000 rpms. Higher tuned engines developed as much as 300 picoseconds at 9200 rpms. German racing team Schnitzer also developed a turbocharged silhouette racing version of the Silica, to take on the Porsche 935. With a KKK turbocharger, the Group 5 Silica developed 560 picoseconds but reliability was less than satisfactory. Applications, 1973-1981 Toyota Silica GT2000 1982-1983 Toyota Celica GT2000, 1974-1983 Toyota Carina GT2000, 1978-1983 Toyota Celica Camry GT2000, 
1973-1982 Toyota Corona GT 2000. Equals 19 rankings equals, the two-valve SOHC 2.0 L19 that was produced from 1974 through 1977. Cylinder bore was 88.5 mm and stroke was 80.0 mm. Its dimensions are the same as of the 18R, but it featured TTCV, Toyota's licensed version of Honda's CVCC stratified charge combustion system. Outputs is 80 picoseconds. The 19R was a short-lived experiment by Toyota, and was only offered in Japanese market cars. Applications 1974-1977 Carina RA13-A31, 1974-1977 Corona RT103-RT123. Equals 20 rankings equals, the two-valve SOHC 2.2 L20R was produced from 1975 through 1980. Cylinder bore was 88.4 mm and stroke was 88.9 mm aluminum alloy heads were used. Initial output was 96 horsepower at 4800 rpms and 120 lbaft at 2800 rpms. Power was down slightly from 1978 through 1979 at 95 horsepower at 4800 rpms and 122 lbaft at 2400 rpms. The final version, from 1979 through 1980, was down again at 90 horsepower at 4800 rpms and 122 lbaft at 2400 rpms. Applications: 1975 to 1980 Toyota Hilux, 1975 to 1980 Toyota Celica, 1975 to 1980 Toyota Corona, Toyota Stout, Toyota Costa. Equals 21 rankings equals. The two-valve SOHC 2.0 L21 was produced from 1978 through 1987. Cylinder bore was 84 mm and stroke was 89 mm. Output in 1978, constrained by emissions, was 105 horsepower at 5,200 rpms and 116 lbaft at 3,600 rpms. Air injection and emissions equipment for the 21RC dropped power down to 90 horsepower at 5,000 rpms. The air injected Japanese version, the 21RU, produced 105 horsepower at 5,200 rpms and 120 lbaft at 3,600 rpms, but dropped to 101 horsepower at 5,400 rpms and 114 lbaft at 4,000 rpms in 1986. Applications, 1978-1982 Toyota Carina RA46A, RA56A, 1978-1981 Toyota Celica RA46B, 1981-1983 Toyota Celica RA60B, 1978-1983 Toyota Corona RT133, 1978-1981 Toyota Cressida Chaser RX40, RX41, RX60. 1979-198 Toyota High Ace Wagon or H23G equals 22 rankings equals the 8 valve SOHC 2.4 L22 was produced from 1981 through 1997 Cylinder bore was 91.9 mm and stroke was 88.9 mm Initial output was 97 horsepower at 4,800 rpms and 129 lbaft at 2,800 rpms. By 1990, the 22er was producing 108 horsepower at 5,000 rpms and 138 lbaft at 3,400 rpms. The first fuel-injected 22er e engines appeared in August 1982. Output of these engines is commonly rated at 105 horsepower at 4,800 rpms and 137 lbaft at 2,800 rpms. In 1985, the engine was significantly reworked. Output was up to 114 horsepower at 4,800 rpms and 140 lbaft at 3,600 rpms. Many parts from the newer 22 RE are not compatible with those from the older pre-1985 engine. Non-compatible parts include the cylinder head, block, 
pistons and many of the associated parts such as the timing chain and cover, and water and oil pumps. These changes also affected the 22R, therefore one can consider the 85-9522RE as a fuel-injected version of the 85-9022R with only minor differences, if any. Toyota swapped the dual-road timing chain used in older engines for a single-row chain with plastic guides in 1983. This system reduced drag on the engine, but is occasionally problematic. Every 80,000 to 140,000 miles, the chain will sometimes stretch to the point that the hydraulic-operated chain tensioner cannot take up any more slack. When this happens, the timing chain impacts the solid plastic driver's side chain guide, breaking it within a few hundred miles of driving and creating a noticeable chattering sound in the front of the engine, especially when cold. If the engine continues to be operated after the guide breaks, the chain will stretch rapidly. The loose chain will cause inaccurate ignition timing, which usually results in noticeably rough running. In continued operation, the chain can jump a tooth on the drive sprocket or break entirely, with either case resulting in engine damage from valve piston collisions. Also, the stretched chain will slap against the side of the timing cover, due to the broken guide, wear through the cover and into the coolant passage behind the water pump. This will cause coolant to drain into the crankcase oil pan, possibly causing damage to internal engine components such as bearings, crankshaft and valve train, as well as damage caused by overheating due to the lack of coolant. The condition can also render a misdiagnosis of a head gasket failure when, in fact, the head gasket may still be good. The best fix is to buy an aftermarket timing chain kit and a new timing cover. Patching the hole in a worn timing cover is strongly discouraged. The turbocharged 22 RTE produced 135 horsepower at 4,800 rpms and 173 lbaft at 2,800 rpms. These engines are extremely well known for their durability, decent fuel efficiency, and good low to mid range torque. However, its weakness is high end power. The 22R has a large displacement and a strong block, but its comparatively long stroke and restrictive head limit its use in high revving applications. Thus, the Toyota 18AG, 2TG, 4AG, and 3SG four cylinder engines are better suited for performance applications. A popular modification to the 22R is to use a 20R head. This head has smaller combustion chambers, giving a higher compression ratio, which then allows more power to be developed. The 20R head also flows better than the 22R head, which improves high RPM power. The 20R head is a simple bolt-on modification for the pre-1985 block, but also requires the use of the 20R intake manifold making it impossible to use with the 22R EFI system. For blocks 1985 and onwards, further modifications are required. Applications, 22R, 1981 Toyota Corona, 1981-1988 Toyota Hilux, 1981-1984 Toyota Celica, 1991 Toyota Cressida, 1981-1995 Toyota Pickup, 1984 Toyota 4Runner. 22RE, 1985 to 1995 Toyota Hilux, 1983 to 1985 Toyota Celica, 1983 to 1987 Toyota Corona RT142, 1984 1995 Toyota Pickup, 1985 to 1995 Toyota 4Runner, 1989 to 1997 Volkswagen Taro, 22RTE. Late 1985 to 1988 Toyota Hilux, 135 horsepower, 1986 to 1987 Toyota 4Runner. References. See also List of Toyota engines, 22R Tech Notes, Toyota 20R engines, details and photos.